Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I am finally returning to you for the next Dream Theater album review for the second Marathon Studio album review that I'm going to be reviewing for Images and Words that I just got done listening to uh, just now. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this 57-minute album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, I gotta say, this was probably better than when Dream and Day Unite. I thought when Dream and Day Unite was really good, but this is very awesome of an album. Um, I wasn't sure if I liked Take the Time because of the intro to the song. It didn't perform very well, but the rest of the song did very good. So I'd have to give that a standalone 4.5 out of 5 because it's not a bad track it's just the intro kind of ruined it for me if you can understand what I'm where I'm coming from but that's just my opinion um pull me under was a very awesome song uh, I really like James is I believe James is the vocalist for this band starting with this album because he didn't come in till 1991 so I was like huh so he's been with the band for like 30 years so yeah it's quite a while <laughs> it's like three decades of this band a uh, little over three decades I guess you could say but um yeah another day was a pretty excellent song I really enjoyed it surrounded was very good um, Metropolis Part 1, The Miracle, and The Sleeper had quite a few sections of the song that were very awesome. Maybe there was one part I wasn't sure if I was liking, but other than that, the song did fantastic. I enjoyed majority of this album. Seven out of eight songs are really good. Um, but I'm gonna keep scrolling through the rest of the album on what I listened to, um, Under a Glass Moon was really good, Wait for Sleep was like a short interlude, I guess you could say, it was like two and a half minutes, so it's short for one of their songs, but the final track is a grand finale of awesomeness, I guess you could say, <laughs> it closes out the album very good it's called learning to live um it was a really outstanding song it's 11 and a half minutes so you're in for quite a long song but for that runtime i enjoyed it i enjoyed this uh song or whatever it did very good so yeah um i'm actually going to be hearing a view from the top of the world in a little bit because uh, I was able to download it. Uh, but I can't review it until the week of the 22nd. Or at least close to the 22nd. Probably the 21st at least. I'm going to wait another 10 days to review it at least. Because I... When I used to review albums like Korn, The Nothing, and uh, Dragon Force on... September 3rd of 2019, that was too fucking early. I was gonna get in serious trouble for reviewing it that early. But, yeah, um, overall, the production, mixing, and execution of this album is really awesome. It did very well. I was really pleased with this album. Take the time being my least favorite because of the intro part of the song. But the rest of the instrumentals uh, of the track did very good. Uh, so I still would have to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Maybe the song might grow on me. It's just the intro leading into like a minute or two of the song didn't do much for me. I just felt a little cringe listening to that part of the song. Um, but my favorite songs on here have got to be Learning to Live, Metropolis Part 1, The Miracle and The Sleeper, Surrounded, Pull Me Under, and Under a Glassman.
Those were my favorites, but the other two songs did very well, too, that I didn't mention. Um, uh, Wait for Sleep was not a bad song, so it did very excellent, I guess you could say. <laughs> I'm trying to make this as good of a review as I can, because, yeah. Uh, but overall, I think Dream Theater's Images and Words did very well. Highly recommend you check this album out. Uh, if you haven't heard it, it's a really good album, and I actually found out that I'm going to be re reviewing all these albums until November 2nd, so a couple weeks from now till I get done with all their albums, all 14. Uh, this is the second one out of the 14, so I'll have 12 more to go after I finish this review. So, yeah, overall, this is a very good album. Like I said, highly recommend you check it out. And for a score, I'm going to give Dream Theater's Images and Words a 9.5 out of 10. Very good stuff uh, from this band. I believe James was the vocalist. You'll have to remind me in the comment section below if he was doing vocals for this album. But I know it sounded a little different than the last guy doing it. Uh... Because it was someone else doing the vocals for uh, the first album. So it wasn't James uh, Labrie for the first album. He didn't join till 1991. So I'm presuming he did vocals for Images and Words all the way to now. So yeah. But comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Dream Theater album, Images and Words, if you've heard it. And if you enjoyed this second Marathon Studio album review I did for Dream Theater, Images and Words, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for, well, I'm actually going to go live on Twitch in a few hours. I need a not look at stuff with my eye because yesterday when I was playing my game my eye got really red on this side and it was really bothering me it was like irritating so I'm gonna have to take artificial tears or something like that to make sure that I'm prepared for looking at a screen today but and playing a game of course I'm only gonna play it for an hour and 15 minutes so I'm not gonna play it that long uh, so hopefully I can get through it without my eye messing up. So I hope you did enjoy this uh, Dream Theater Images and Words album review. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. And I'll have the Malignant movie review coming out um, sometime this week. Or by the end of the week or whatever i'll see where i'm at with videos and all that because i'm gonna have a lot of dream theater stuff to cover through this channel but anyway stay safe take care i hope you enjoyed this album review that i did for you guys this afternoon and as always i'll see you in my next video